<sighs> what a lovely sound to wake up to, hey? During the week, I usually set my alarm to 5.45 and try to get up within a couple of snoozes. And then, first thing I do is I go to the gym. On the day I recorded this, I had a pole that you can see right now. Then, I get back at 8 a.m. to start my lectures. The first lecture today will be Analysis 1, which I don't really visit. <laughs> hey, voiceover Nick again. I just want to quickly put this into context. Firstly, let's look at my now very colorful schedule. Today I record this was a Monday, and we have almost all of our lectures on Mondays and Tuesdays, except for one hour of analysis Friday morning. On the other three days of the week, we have exercise lessons. Materials on production and analysis on Friday afternoon only take place every second week though. Now, why don't I visit some lectures? In the first couple of semesters, we have some very basic math and physics classes that have been taught for feels like thousands of years. There are so many great resources on these topics online and even in the books that are recommended with the lecture. For example, our analysis professor explained this example in the lecture where I can go over the exact same example in the script. Sometimes the script even has some additional information. And this isn't an example that I had to look for. Every proof, every example, every explanation is exactly the same in the script. So sometimes I feel like it's a waste of time to watch 5 hours of analysis lectures a week when I can study it myself using a script and most of the time get a better grasp of the material as well. Of course studying is highly individual and this is just how I work best. So yeah, hope you guys enjoy, day in the life. Okay, my alarm just went off and I want to show you guys this. So this alarm is for me to sign myself into the CrossFit training that, it, that would take place tonight. And um, it is now 8.59 and at nine you're allowed to sign in. So 9 a.m. There's 35 free spaces. I just clicked sign in. See, everyone's ready at 9 a.m. to sign into this into this training. Let me try on my iPad as well. Reload the page, okay, it's still turn, yes. I got space number 14, there's 23 spaces left. Jesus, nerve wracking. Okay, I swiftly wanted to show you what the website looks like where we have our lectures on. Um, it basically looks like this. On the left side here, we can choose the room that, um, well, the building, so CAV, CHN, ETA, and so on. And then in each building, we have different rooms. So for example, in the ML building, we would have ML D28, ML E11, uh, E12, ML F36, and so on. Because our lecture would technically take place in the ML E12, this is where it is also streamed from, from the professor. I'll see you guys in a bit. Okay, something pretty cool that I wanted to show you is that um, the professor just asked a question in class and um, of course, because we aren't there, we can't answer his question. So he actually put up a vote on Moodle in the lecture and now, so now we can answer lecture 11 questions and there is A, B and C to choose from. I think it was number B, so I can just click number B and send. And 77% or 156 people voted B. So I hope he was right. I think it was. So yeah. We just finished the first lecture. It was pretty fast paced for mechanics one. Now I got a 10 minutes break. And in 10 minutes we're going to continue. Okay. The second part of the lecture is finished. We were talking, we were getting an introduction into forces and how those work uh, in mechanics and yeah, now I'm gonna make some food.
Okay, just finished lunch. It was really good. Chicken breast, some leftover fried rice, and one sweet potato. Um, and yeah, lecture starts in 10 minutes. Gotta get ready. Okay, just finished up those two hours of lectures in materials and production. Yeah, I'm gonna kind of review what I what we just did in class and then I'm gonna go on to doing some exercises in chemistry because theoretically would we would have chemistry lecture in 10 minutes but I'm not gonna visit that and kind of teach myself because we have the whole lecture given as slides actually so if you can see here this is uh, this is basically all the slides that she's gonna go through so I can just teach to teach myself because I had a lot of stuff this already in high school um, and try to solve the exercise and if I don't get it then I might tune into the the lecture yeah so I'll see you guys in a bit okay just about an hour later now it is 4 20 p.m. Um, and I just finished off the chemistry exercises that I did and now I'm gonna edit a little bit on this video that you're watching right now and um, in about an hour I'll prepare for I'll get ready for CrossFit which I have this uh, this evening and yeah I'll see you in a bit I just got to Irchel which is the place where the CrossFit's gonna take place um, and I was actually planning on eating this skur yogurt which is actually amazing only problem is, they don't have a spoon with it. So um, yeah, gotta eat when I'm home again. But uh, I'm excited, I'll show you a little bit of the workout if I can. I'll talk to you guys after the workout. Oh, back from the workout. That was pretty grueling. I already knew it was gonna be bad when the warm up was super hard and super intense. And then 24 minutes of straight work. Um, I'll tell you a little bit more when I'm back. I filmed a little bit. Uh, I'm gonna see what I can show you guys, but first I need some food. Be right back. It's 9 p.m. I just finished dinner, and um, I'm slowly gonna get ready for bed. Um, I try to get into bed by 9:15, 9:30, and then go to sleep by 10 at least. So I get about eight hours of sleep before I have to wake up at 5:45 again to go to the gym in the next morning. So yeah, I'm gonna get ready now. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed it and sorry it took me forever to upload a new video. If you want me to do a particular type of video next, let me know. Other than that, have a good one.